there's usually quite a bit, unfortunately. 10 seconds, I think, or 15 seconds after you finish the game, and about 20 or 25, I think, between game. I'm not sure. It might be a bit more than that, actually. Yeah. If the sound is too loud, I can just turn it down. It shouldn't be, but if it is, it is. I don't mean for it to be loud if it is loud. We'll find out. We've already got a few people in the chat, I see. Porsche and a few of my home emotes, which is nice. So yeah, this is the PlayStation 1 version of the game, and overall it's quite nice to play, enjoyable for me. Uh, I use a little tactic here I actually found out this afternoon, um, where you can actually get the police lost here if you're lucky. Uh, seems we have a super cop in the mix. I'm going to go up this way. This is actually a bit different to what my usual route is, but usually by now you lose the police. Around that, anyway. You usually lose the police around here. Hopefully, I can lose the police. Alright, there we go. Okay, it's not too bad. And that is literally the first mission. The first mission can be done like instantly. I did miss you, Charlie. But, um, yeah, this game was released in 2001. So it was quite, uh, quite a while, um, well, a while later to when the PlayStation 1 was released. Um, and because of that, it's been one of them... One of them games that, you know, when you get a console and the game was released quite late? Um, this is one of those games, unfortunately. How many doors did I blow today? I believe the idea is to not blow any more than one. Eight. Um, this... Or two, I don't know. And yes, this is PlayStation 1. So there's a PlayStation 1 port, which is obviously this version, and there's also a PC port of the game as well. Obviously the PC port runs with like instant load times and that sort of stuff. If you get it on SSD, it's pretty much instant. Uh, the game plays differently in a few aspects on PC, obviously. There's a better frame rate usually, and the time limits are a bit different, and also some of the locations for the police spawning are also a bit different as well. Um, but yeah, it should be alright. It should be pretty decent. Like I said, I'm hoping for good RNG on stuff like that. If you hit double for a second, it might be I messed up something. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be for the guys that are watching. So this one's rather easy. This is meeting Camp Freddy. It's quite an easy mission. Um, literally, you just have to drive to the train station. And it's just literally a case of driving straight for most of it. Like I so said, most of these missions are relatively quick. Um, and also, providing you get good RNG with the police, you should be able to finish them within like two or three minutes. Some of them require good traffic, others don't really. Um, I'll get onto that on the next one that I'm doing, which is obviously Driver 2. Uh, that'll be something that I'll be talking about quite a bit. That is actually one run that I can talk about quite a bit because there is quite a bit involved in that run. Uh, the Italian job this game in particular is not very, shall we say, RNG based. The police can be a bit of a mixed bag, but it's not too bad. And that is the second mission done. Literally the rest of that is just a cutscene, so it's not too bad. Uh, regarding missions in this game, most of them work with you go here, pick this up, or you just go there and stay there, and that's it. Um, like I said, hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't have too many issues, but if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. Um, but yeah, so hopefully it's looking good on the... Uh, hopefully you can see it just fine on the stream. Hopefully everything's running alright. But yeah, if anyone's got any questions about this game, fire away. Uh, like I said, there's a lot, lot, there's quite long loading times, so a majority of this one we're probably just looking at a loading screen, unfortunately. Because this game was made for the PlayStation 1, and a lot of load times were very, very long back then. 
there was actually two games of the Italian job, I should mention this, um, is that there was a PlayStation 1 slash PC port, and there was also a, another Italian job game which was based off the 2003 Italian job film, which was called the Italian job LA Heist. It does not play as well as this game, or look as good. Even if it's on an emulator, it still looks bad. This one's actually based off the 1969 film, so those who have played or watched the film before, if they've played the game or watched the film from 1969 with Michael Caine, you'll recognise a couple of locations. Obviously, you'll probably recognise London straight away, because, well, that's where we are. Uh, we do have Turin, which we're going to go through, which has some bit more difficult missions. Uh, and also, we've got, I think, the Alps as well, towards the end of the game, which, as I'm sure you know, if you've seen the ending, you'll know exactly why the Alps comes into it. <laughs> Thanks, Joseph. I know Joseph, a regular of mine, so that's that's nice. Also, that's a, that was a pretty good Peaches for Peaches, I'm not going to lie. 118, that's pretty damn good. Feels gold, man. And that is literally it. So the reason for the route I took there was because if you go straight, as in if you go straight on, or you turn right and take a few back streets, you actually run into another police car and you can't lose him before the end of the mission. Whereas if you take that route, you actually avoid all the police officers and you can literally just drive straight to Professor Peach and that's that. It's that easy. Like, I'll probably make this game look quite easy and believe me, it's not took me much practice to get used to it. I think my initial runs for this game were taking an hour and 20 minutes and now they take about an hour. So if we get a good run going, then we're on an hour. But if we mess up, then probably about an hour and six minutes. But I think we should finish under estimate. I don't know by how much, because like I said, it all depends later on in the game. For the most part, we don't really have to worry about RNG or traffic or whatever. We don't have to worry about any of that just yet. Like I said, it's Turin in the later half of the game that we have to worry about. But yeah, like I said, this game's pretty easy um there's actually two difficulty levels for this game as well which is the easy and the normal if you play the game on easy you get to play through the missions in london but you don't get to play through turin and the alps instead those missions are replaced by london missions again so you basically do all of the london missions twice which is a bit rubbish to be honest um the normal version of the game normal difficulty should i say uh, which is the version I'm playing, is obviously the one that's got all of the levels, including Turin and the Alps as well. Uh, the last few missions, as you might imagine, are some of the hardest in the game. They're not too difficult when they want to be, but most of the time they are exceedingly difficult. Um, yeah, we have a, a, actually uh, a mission coming up after this, as we hit a car and do that. Yeah, this has some weird physics, this game, I should mention. Like, you can bounce off a wall and just skid. It really doesn't matter. Also, bang on seven seconds. That's pretty good. Obviously, nobody remembers this part of the film. It's just part of a mission for a game, for the game, so... Makes it feel a bit more real. Where they got the 4x4 from. They actually robbed it. And also, four-wheel drive Land Rovers. Because that was a thing. These were a thing back in the day, weren't they, just? Like I said, the game's based off the 1969 film, so if all these cars look a bit 1960s, <laughs> that sort of, you know, that sort of decade, then like I said, don't be surprised. They are that. Whoop! Come on, out the way. Bloody taxi. I don't, I wouldn't expect, um... Any swearing from me on this one. Maybe driver, but I don't like so I'm gonna try and obviously the rules are rules for this, so I will try and keep a lid on things and not swear. Obviously the idea is to keep it PG thirteen, so you know, I'll uh, try my best. In, in fact I need to, so <laughs> yeah, driver two is a bit more infuriating at times, but hopefully we get good RNG on that one. This one, this mission in particular, I should mention now. So, moving on to this mission. This is Skillful Bill. Skillful Bill is basically you drive as Bill <laughs> in the blue car and you have to hit Charlie, who's in the red car. Now, 
Charlie tends to slow down quite a bit. If you can catch him, you're able to take him out before you get to the park or around the park. Which is where you'll see what I mean when we get to it. If you're good enough and you can ram in the right moments, you can actually hit him by then. And that's the quickest you can finish the mission. Finish the mission. Um, but if you get it wrong, then it's usually a bit later on. But I did a bit of testing before, and before doing this. And I managed to take him out pretty quick. Uh, not that quick, but quickish. If that makes sense. Get in there, Bill. So here's Bill. We only see, this is the only time you'll see him in this whole game. Okay, let's go. And obviously Charlie is the one we play as for the most part. We actually play as Charlie's girlfriend at one point. There's no on foot missions in this game, I might. Um, as much fun as it would be to have an on foot mission in this game, there isn't actually any on foot missions at all. So it wouldn't be possible to obviously play as Charlie's missus. Also, one thing to note as well about this is, with this mission in particular, like I said, hitting Charlie's a big vulnerability. If you can get him, because he slows down, he does he does like a weird warp thing. So you probably recognise it from some games. He does, you know, get characters can warp and all that good stuff. Ideally, what we're after here is if we can get him in the next few corners, that would be good. Obviously, we might have to move him forward a bit because of everything else as we try and move away come on don't lose him please don't lose him Jesus this will be the first time if I've ever done it nice okay see if we can catch Charlie nice okay nice come on get it get it get it there we go got him not my best chance in fact that's probably the worst one I've had in a while uh, what exactly is an Italian job well, if you've never watched the film, I don't know what the film's about. It is about a man named Charlie Croker who comes out of prison, or Her Majesty's prison, in London. And he works for somebody called Mr. Bridger. And in the film, they plan to rob $4 million worth of gold from under the noses of the Mafia and the police in Turin. Or four million dollars worth of gold bullion. Um, it came out in 2005. There's actually two versions of the film. So the original one has got Michael Caine in. That came out in 1969. And it's still a classic film. If you've never seen it, definitely go and watch it. Uh, it's highly recommended. If you're a car enthusiast, go and watch it. You won't regret it. There was a remake, which was remade in 2003. Which is the one I think you're thinking of. Uh, Judgmental Skeleton. Uh, that's the one that's got Mark Wahlberg, Charlie's Theron, oh, what's he called? Edward Norton, Jason Statham, he's in that as well. But that was that was a good version of the film. Not as good as the original one, but it's still Prison good. Pals. Prison Pals, nice and easy this one. Ran through these doors, pick up Dominic, who's there. You don't have to, I don't think you can just, there's any particular spot you can stop in. I usually stop quite close to the door so I don't have to break out. So we'll have a police officer chasing us at this point. I'm going to try and aim for the middle there, if you can. Try and aim for the middle. The one thing you can do here, one thing you can get is busted. And you don't want to get busted, not on this mission. Unfortunately, like I said, the police are a bit RNG based. On this mission, you can usually lose them way before you get to the end of the mission. Like I said, the one thing in this mission is you have to, there's a specific route that I always take. I've seen other speedrunners of this game take different routes, but I think mine's the most efficient because you don't run into any more police, so to speak. Um, also, I've used a hell of a lot of damage for this car. Jesus, that is a lot. We go over this bridge like that, try and slow down if we can without hitting much. And then we go through here. No, I don't think. Right, I'm not in the car spawn there. And then, in we go. And that is mission successful. Now we've got two more missions in London. We've got keeping it up, which is quite difficult because Dave, who's the guy you drive following, him, uh, he is obviously the car in front. You've got to follow him. But the problem is he drives dead quick. You can actually get him to speed up. 
Uh, what system is this for? It is PlayStation 1. So it is... Like I said, it's PlayStation 1. This is being run on an emulator, so that's probably the reason why it looks better than it should. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it does look a lot better than the original PS1 output. But like I said, it's being run on, em on an emulator, so that's why it'll look a bit better. I know a lot of people are against emulators, and I'm sorry if you are, I'm just saying. For me, it's more it's more efficient to use an emulator. I know, it's like, oh, there's nothing wrong with actual console stuff, because there isn't. But, um, yeah, it's been around the emulator. Loading times, like I said, the, the loading times are pretty much the, the different. Come on, Al -Gal. PSX and PS1 are different, aren't they? No, they're not. How many famous men with a surname based on a stick figure in this game? God knows. Uh, PSX and PS1 are the same thing. I think it's... I don't know what the difference is. People call it PSX, some people call it PS1. I have honestly no idea what the differences are. It's the same thing, as far as I know. I think it's PS1 is a European version, and PSX is what everyone outside of Europe calls it. I'm not sure. So what I did there was just speed Dave up by making it go a bit quicker. Nice and easy. You can, like I said, you can speed him up a bit, which is good. Uh, if you cut corners and things like that, you'll speed him up. Oh, there you go. Skeleton's cracked it. There you go. So yeah, PSX is the original console. Oh, there you go. I think that sums it up perfectly, actually. I'm just hoping I make this next corner. So this bridge is always a pain on this mission for some reason. Never get it right. Although, ooh, I did that. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Very nice. Okay, right. Let's make sure we don't hit anything. Didn't hit anything there. Right, he'll go through the park, but what we'll do is we'll jump ahead of him here. We're actually going to cut round the park instead. And also, he goes round the entire church. If you're quick enough, you can get him to spawn in front of you like that. Dead nice. Will there be mini bosses? Uh, yes, there will be. They will, actually, come to think of it. Whoop. Oh my god. Please don't fail this. I'll be gobsmacked if I fail this. He's only there. Nice. Okay, right. That was a lot worse than I've had in practice, but that's still okay. So one other thing we've got. Yeah, it is a bit of an early version of GTA. I think it was based off GTA. It's basically Grand Theft Auto without the high, the carjacking and without the guns and all the rest of it. The Italian job does involve a bit of violence, but it's not as much as GTA involves. In this, in the game, it doesn't involve any, but in the film it includes a bit of violence, but there's barely any. It's a bit of a weird film to call it, really. I mean, there's not a lot of swearing in it. Barely any, actually. Yeah, there's barely anything. I think the, the 1969 version, I think, had barely... I think it was PG, so it was barely anything in it that was offensive. GTA 1, yeah, GTA 1 and London were well ahead, as was Driver at this time as well. By the time this game actually released as well... <laughs> Techno, oh my god. Um, What was I saying? Yeah, by this point, when this game came out, in 2001, no doubt, 2001 this game came out, when it came out, it had already had Driver 1 and 2 had already come out, and also, there was a few oh, others oh. as well, there was Driver 1 and 2, there was, uh, what was the other ones, GTA 1, maybe, I think GTA 2 might have been out at this point, I have absolutely no idea. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hopefully we can be alright. I don't want to hit too much in this mission. Oh in fact, this this mission has me on rails. Because you can completely wreck the bus and it's not too hard to do that. 
unfortunately. There we go. <laughs> the command has been edited. <laughs> I should add, actually, I should add at this point, if you do follow me uh, after this, if you decide to do so, that is, there might be a notification sound that pops up that I might be able to hear, but I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> I don't know if it's uh, edited. Is BPG still stream? I thought I retired. Uh, no, I'm not retired. I don't know where that news was heard, but no, I haven't. And that's London done. I stream every now and again, yeah. I'm not a dead I'm not a dead horse. Um, I do stream, but it's not very often as a like. And that would be the notification. You'll hear that if you follow that's the notification sound. I do apologize if you can hear that on the stream, because you will. I should have muted it, it's an accident. Uh, oh, I'll mute it on if Shadow, if you're alright with this. I'll um I'll mute the notification sound when I get a chance. Actually I could probably do it now. Give them a chance. Just right, I can't there see that. There we go. I can see it. Is this glitch or sorry? Is it Mirror's Head glitch? <laughs> oh dear. No, no. Hang on, wait. What's Mirror's Edge glitch looks like? I don't even know about that one. Is Mirror's Edge just glitchless anyway? But yeah, to answer your question, Judgmental, I think it is as well. There's traffic control HQ. Do you know, I have, to, I have to admit, Judgmental Skeleton has actually nailed that right on the nose. I, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good, actually. I like that. So I use a bunch of glitches and say it's okay. Ah, like, oh, right, okay. Um, to be fair, I'm pretty happy that Shadow accepted this, to be honest. And I'm happy that you guys can see it. But yeah, the, like I said, the, the game's old, so it's, it's one of those things. Also, Invisible Collision. Nice. Go this way because we can avoid any invisible glitches. Yeah, so if you can't tell by now, I run mainly racing games. Usually, that's that's my style. I'm, I'm quite decent at running racing games. Um, well. I've run quite a few to be fair. Like I said, I'm mainly a racing game kind of guy. I don't run absolutely everything that's a racing game or classed as racing or driving. I run a fair few, but you know. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, so like I said, this game came out in 2001. It's pretty late. The um, the PC version of this game looks a lot better, runs a better frame rate, but it is also got different things on it, it's quite difficult as well. In its own regard, for example, the Mafia, the police, you name it, everything's different. Also, if I can get good RNG on this guy again, this would be pretty damn good. I think I did this last time, yeah, this seemed to work. Nice. Yeah, so I did this last time as well. This seems to be a quick way of losing. There you go. Ha ha! Yes! Oh man, what? No, 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 come on. 
Get low, get low, get low, get low. Nice. This game's currently £2.4 to £4 on eBay. Con, what a steal. You couldn't buy a postcard that cheap these days. Also, nice driving that by the AI though. He just decided that he wanted to reverse on purpose and hit me. Right, okay. Please don't. Say, so please stop. There we go. I think the idea of Mirror's Edge glitchless is because you have to glitch as the least amount of times possible. That'll probably be it. You might as well just have it as Mirror's Edge no glitches, I don't know. Either way. Oh, whatever, whatever. It all depends really what the mods of the game want to do and what speedrun mods want to do about it. I know a lot of people who do speedruns of games don't have, uh, some mods are pretty good, some are really bad. <laughs> There's a lot of, um, a very few things I've seen recently regarding speedrun mods. I have no idea why. I don't know if anybody else has seen it. I know that's, that sounds a bit controversial coming from me, but, uh, you know, I don't know. Nice. It'll never be glitchless in my opinion, but I understand why they decided that. Well, yeah, exactly. Can you do a 360 no scope in this? New. No. It's not Call of Duty, I'm afraid. Yeah, my, like I said, my runs are mainly racing, so they probably won't. You probably won't see me playing any uh, any games that are well, anything that's all about racing. I might occasionally play an action game every now and again, but don't expect anything fantastic from me. <laughs> it's probably worth me mentioning that actually at this stage. Oh, oh. Right, okay, we're all good. We're fine. It's Torino tours over. I must have hit about five or six cars in this game. Just now. That mission in particular. The one mission that does my head in, and you'll see it, is called uh, Convoy. That's difficult because you have to get good RNG with the police. I'm going to try a strat. It might be a bit risky, but sack it. If the devs didn't intend it, they wouldn't allow it as an option on the main menu. Yeah, true. You can expect five hours of room and hold on, get to, to sort my dog out, back him it, maybe a pot noodle once in a while. It's quality cozy stream. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, just to put this in perspective of how nuts I am, I think I've done speedruns of games that have lasted me nine hours. That's nine hours of pure driving. Just driving for nine hours straight. As you can imagine, I was quite knackered. I think with racing games, they're more chilled and pretty intense. Unless you go for something like a simulation game. Like full-on sim mode. If you try to do a, a speedrun of something like that, you have no chance. You, you, your run will be extremely, extremely stressful. Yeah, nine hours. Probably could have done, actually. Judgmental skeleton. I don't find a fantasy time for ten hours, but my heart is off to you, so. Yeah, the longest run I've ever done is... ...for... ...Colin McRae Rally 2. I did it once last year. I don't intend to repeat the act, either. Um, so I did... Colin McRae Rally 2 on the PC for nine and, hour, 9 and a bit hours. It was probably the most mind-boggling run I've ever done. It's relatively easy to do, but out of everything that I've done, like out of my usual speedruns, that one was the worst. It's probably the most knackering one I've done. I did one the other day that was like two and a half hours, and it was like, oh, that's not too bad. Humans have about three frames of animation. Also, 
That was a top car. I'm happy. The focus per second is a lot. Yeah, true. Nice. Okay. And now we watch a nice little cutscene. A three second clip. Well, three, three frames animation of a woman walking. It's the Mafia. So I think in the PC version of the game, these AI are extremely powerful. Like, they'll just boost towards your car. There we go. Nice, there we go. So one thing you have to do, which I didn't do there for some weird reason, Try that again. Come on. Here we go. Right, here we go. Nice. Okay, right. We made it this time. That's good. Nice. Very nice. Okay, right. So originally I was supposed to get over that fence first try, but that didn't work. But yeah, you literally just follow. This one's... Uh... Yeah, th this one's literally easy. You just follow this route, the dirt path, and it'll take you all the way back to the mansion. Nice and easy. Not that difficult. Like I said, relatively straightforward. This game's pretty damn easy. To speedrun, it's actually a lot easier. I mean, most of the missions are relatively straightforward. But not that hard. Some of them take less than a minute to finish. Some take about 20 seconds. Some take four, five minutes. I think it's the next one. The next one is called Traffic Tape Caper, I think it is. And that run, it that mission is about five minutes. And it's at night as well. And you've got the police. And there's a route that I need to remember as well for this one. Recently I had a bit of a task of watching a guy run it on the PC and watching his methods. Fair to say that went quite well. So I might be using a new tactic for this one. And I've got quite good confidence in my abilities for driving on this game. The one mission that does you that is quite difficult. And I mean quite difficult. Um, there's obviously Convoy, which is pretty quick, but can be screwed up quite easily as well, considering it lasts, lasts about a minute. And then there's one called The Getaway, which is where you have to follow minis for about five minutes. Five or six minutes. Run's gone well so far. We need to tilt BPG. What's the hardest pizza to transport on a moped? Oh, that's a good question. Honestly, well, I've never drove a moped, so I wouldn't know, but a hardest pizza with, to transport would probably be something with a lot of toppings on, like a lot of meat, because the meat could just slide off that easy. It'll be back for you later. Calm animations. And to think one of them guys is supposed to be Benny Hill. Yeah, you and me are all asking questions. Why the hell does Benny Hill look like he does in this game? I have no words, I have no idea. Oh lovely, the AI just decided to hit each other. Yeah, to answer that question, Judgmental Skeleton, I know it's a bit off topic. <laughs> Sliding meat sounds like a disaster. Whoa! Come on, don't hit the balls. Um, yeah, it's probably the hardest pizza to transport. I used to be a pizza delivery boy, so... I know a bit about pizzas and delivery. <laughs> not loads, I'm not a bloody pizza guru, but um, yeah, I know a fair bit about delivering pizzas and what pizzas are absolutely terrible for the ingredients sliding off. It probably has to be a meat feast or something like that. Like it's something with a lot of meat on, probably. Also, that went rather well. Now we get to watch a cutscene of him walking with the bike. This isn't the first time we'll see that as well. Is that why Rocky used to punch me, make it behave and stay on the pizza? <laughs> yeah, could have been. Could have been. Head for the power station. Oh dear. Probably is the hardest, hardest way to deliver your pizza actually to be fair. Hardest pizza to, del to deliver is your favorite pizza. Mm, maybe. I don't know. I mean, my per my personal favorite pizza 
I'm sorry if I'm making anybody hungry. My personal favourite is probably barbecue meat feast. Like I said, I do apologise if I'm making anybody hungry. That's not my intention. Also, we're just coming up to... There's a little tip that I'm going to give to anybody that's doing this run, or anybody that considers it. So the one thing you've got to do, after this happens... After he gets his bike and walks off, you'll see actually when he gets back, but there's two police cars that go towards you. At least that's no pineapple pizza. I, I don't mind... I'm going to be controversial. I like pineapple with pizza. I like Hawaiian. There you go. That's all I have to say. If you want to kill me, feel free to. As we get to see the best ink animation for throwing a bike ever. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Traffic control HQ. Nice. Yeah, so there's two police cars that are waiting for you. If we go here, that's one. Nice. That's two. Hopefully I don't activate them. There we go. 10 out of 10 will throw again. Right, so the one thing I did last time, which I found out is relatively easy, is you can go this way and go over this this hill. We'll actually be coming down this hill on the getaway, so yeah, a bit of a spoiler alert for the next mission. Oh well. Um, right, so... For this one, this is literally as simple as there'll be a policeman on the left, which there is. And we're going to just get away from him. Hopefully we can get away from him pretty easy. I'm hoping we can, at least. That would be fantastic. The traffic's not so great on the PS1 version. If you dodge in and out of traffic, you're losing in no time. Very nice. PPG confirmed bike terrorist. <laughs> oh dear, you guys crap me up. You mean Charlie Croker, he's the one that's the terrorist, not me. Charlie Croker. Croker. But Mr. Bridger. I love that. Is there anybody who's watched the films, bro? Maybe the professor's not bent. Camp Freddy, everybody in the world is bent. It's like, ooh. I think you just knackered the suspension. Going to take a week to order the parts before I can fix it. Yeah, maybe I did knacker the suspension. This one's actually relatively easy to get back to the mansion. So you can follow the arrow, which will take you pretty much... It'll take you all the way around the houses and everything. Or you can just do this. You literally just stay on the highway. The highway will take you straight to the mansion, pretty much. Yeah, if anyone's got any questions or anything they want to mention about this game or the film behind this making, go right ahead. Gets a bit of a discussion going, if you know what I mean. Oh dear. Like I said, if when you know the missions off by art or you just know the missions, you think, yeah, this is so easy. Donna Calzone. That is actually a pizza I've never had. Believe it or not. I've never even heard of a Donna Calzone. I've heard of a Calzone, obviously a Donna, but Donna Calzone? When the hell did they exist? Uh, they existed. They exist, I presume. Because you've mentioned it. And um, that's the end of that mission. Right, next one. We've got a mission. Oh, it's in Glasgow. Oh, sweet. I'm heading up to Glasgow in a few weeks. So I might pick one up whilst I'm there. Try one. I'm actually be I'm actually gonna be part of the um, I think I'm going to be part of another speedrun event called United Kingdom Speedrunners Gathering. That's being held in Glasgow. And that's in like a couple of weeks, two or three weeks, middle of March. So next one interference. This one I do apologise if you heard echo the sound. That's just the, how the emulators run at the moment. Not too bad. According to my timer, I'm now 40 minutes into this. 
<laughs> I didn't know we had things like that up here. Well, you do. Apparently. Unfortunately, the submissions and everything's uh, ended for that event. But the event will be live soon. I'm not going to advertise it too much. I'm just mentioning it, that's all. But yeah, I didn't know they had uh, Donna Calzones in Glasgow. I know we've got off to a weird subject, but you know. <laughs> I don't mind talking about all this stuff. For me, I could do this with my eyes shut. So anything to talk about is anything to talk about, really. I think the only time we'll probably have to concentrate is on the getaway. Like I said, I know this game like back of me on, so... One of the two words. Also, I've just noticed as well on my uh, OBS. It says drop frames one. When the hell did I drop a frame? Leave Glasgow Donna alone, she had a rough life. <laughs> so, this one has a specific route you've got to follow. Um, which was actually found by one of the, what, somebody who was speedrunning the PC version. And you're just going to get used to it. Okay, next one. Also, we're driving one of these. Because why the hell not? It's a beautiful fusion of Eastern Mediterranean okay, cuisine and fried cheese. Of course. Of course. Okay, next one. Nice and easy. Right, police station on my right. Nice. There's a chippy down in Dumfries at the Donna Calzone with okay, curry sauce in it. I've got chips and curry sauce and all that stuff. Also, I've now got to remember where I'm going, per se. Nice. Okay, next one. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to get used to this, unfortunately. This is how, this is how long things take, unfortunately. Some of these are different. Okay, next one. Also, the graphics decided they wanted to glitch. Okay, next one. This is what Shadow says when it's like, right, okay, next one. <laughs> He's like, right, we've got another runner. Okay, next one. Also, that kind of works in a way. Okay, next one. That was really good back by the AI on that part. Nice. If we go up here, there is another one, which should be up here. There we go. Did you say glitch? Okay, next one. Actually, believe it or not, is that the real in-game music? Yep. This is the real in-game music, yes. Cheeky bad Mars bar for after. Do you know the funny thing is that um, there's a, a chippy that's not far from my house that does that. Up in Lossop, I think. Not far from where I live. And they do a uh, battered Mars bar, but the thing is it's like obviously you've got to take your battered Mars bar. You've got so you've got to take your Mars bar in order for it to get battered. It's going to heat haggis. I've already eaten haggis, it's nice. Given uh <laughs> it'll be telling about his adventure up north. Really? Almost any chip in Scotland. Though. What? That's not fair. I thought this was something we had. Never mind. Oh well. Through here. Right. Battered haggis? No. No, that would be disgusting. Haggis is nice on its own. Battered haggis? Black pudding is something I can't eat of. That's just me. I've had haggis anyway. Like I said, I've had haggis, but haggis is alright to be fair. I remember like I was saying to my dad always like, oh yeah, haggis is really really nice. I remember saying, oh it's absolutely disgusting. I kept saying, oh that looks mine, what's in that? And then I went up to Scotland like last September. What did they eat loads of what's that was up there? You guessed it, haggis. That was in September. I did go up in December but I didn't eat any haggis. I'm regretting that I didn't actually Okay. Uh what is it? I'm regretting that I've never had, you know, haggis before. And I've also regretted that I didn't buy any haggis. That sucked as well, the fact that I didn't buy any haggis. Oh, sweet. Battered what? The match for battle. 
her like battered ice cream, Donna Pickle. What? God, they'll batter anything? That's insane. Like, that's ridiculous. It's funny that I'm always on Twitch screen and suddenly the big food discussion breaks out. Nice. Go Scotland, you have to be you have to have square sausage. I've never even heard of square sausage. I don't even want to imagine, but yeah, I can pretty much guarantee I know what that'll be. Square sausage. And that's that mission done. You'll be in Glasgow soon, you'll have a chance then. Yeah, exactly, that's true. Uh, Scotland, we make American food the Scottish way, aka we bat everything. <laughs> Should sneak into Scotland, steal her sweet for haggis and put them out of business. I don't think that'd even work. Mate, you've never had square sausage. Try fruit pudding. God, everyone's telling me to try all different foods. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. I won't like then I'll probably be staying in Glasgow this time around anyway, CD Rowan so. Although, that being said, I've not, uh, I've not got anybody to go Glasgow with, <laughs> so I might be on my own again. But I'll probably be going up on the Friday this time. Anyway, I'm not really mentioning much of them details. They're for, uh, they're for a private. <laughs> not mention everything. Square Sausage. Is square sausage literally a sausage that's square shaped? Or am I just taking that wrong? Am I thinking of it the wrong way? Because that's what immediately comes to mind. A sausage, but it's not circle, it's square. Yeah. Is it actually? Because if it is, no, you're right. Oh, sweet. That's something I've got to see to believe, to be oh. fair. It is just sausage, thank god, it's just sausage and nothing more. Slightly different season and texture. Oh, nice. Well, consider that, I'll definitely give that a try when I go to Scotland next. Although, I don't think I'd just drive to Scotland just to try square sausage. <laughs> I wouldn't be driving up, but I'd have to be there for an event or something like that. Right, so we're gonna try this new technique. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, we're gonna find out. So the new technique for this mission is you go this way, like that. Nice, okay, the game's gonna slow down a bit. No, uh-oh. We're in trouble, I'm in trouble, unless I lose the cop. Unless I can lose him, which I'm not going to. Oh, I goofed up. I messed up. I messed up. No. I'm going to have to reset that one. Good job I actually put uh, <clears throat> an hour and ten minutes on the re on the thing, didn't I? I had to reset that because, like I said, luckily it's a short mission, so it's not too bad. Get in then, Bill. Also, reset! I had a reset! I've actually forgotten the route that I need to take to actually get past the police without getting busted. No idea which way it is. Oh, Jesus. Right, we're gonna give that one another shot. Hopefully I can get it done more. Oh, crap. Hopefully I can get it done first try. Here we go. Here we go. Blimey, these cops are blooming fast. Right, okay, here goes nothing. Right, let's hope that I can manage this now. Come on. No, oh, come on. Oh no, I'm busted again! Oh, right, we're gonna have to just do it the, the normal way, because that's not working. Oh. I should have just took the normal route. I knew I should have. That might be a quicker route, but it's slow as anything on the PS1. 
Right, we'll just... I'm, I'm playing safe strats now. That was a risky strat. I've got time to waste, essentially, but I don't want to waste too much time. Also, apologies if... I don't like to, I don't think I'm going to go overestimate here, so... We should be alright. Let's make sure I don't... Ooh, if I hit anything, please don't. Uh, Square Sauce is confirmed to, to till BPG. <laughs> Yeah, I've never had square sausage, but you're gonna do. Right, downside is there's no pie and peas back in Bosco. Yeah, I suppose you're right on that one, that sucks. Ha! Eh! <laughs> Suck it, cop. Nice, right, here's the bit that I was dreading. Traffic sold. Come on, Bill. Nearly there. Come on, Bill. Nearly there. Right. Push all that traffic out of the way. Nice. All right. Nice. <laughs> Your square sausage has destroyed the gun. Ah, PS1 era driving games where trees are stronger than any vehicle and have hitboxes three times their sprite. <laughs> Right, there'll be a cutscene after this that I need to skip over straight away. Like I said, there's the getaway, which is about six or seven minutes. Then there's red, white, and blue, which is really quick. It's about a minute to do that. And then there is the last one, which is uh, red, white, and blue, then home free. And that's time after that like I said without the mess ups I can do it in under an hour just the one I'm worried about more than anything else I'm not going to lie to you guys I wasn't really worried about this run <laughs> even if I did screw it up it's driver 2 what's next that's what I'm worried about Okay, sweet. We're all good. Just skip this one. We're gonna have police chasing us a fair bit. Shouldn't be too hard. It says six and a half minutes, but we're not even gonna use six and a half minutes. Also. Nice. Way. Come on. Getting there, getting there. We're getting there. We are getting there. They made Glasgow the European city of culture. Well, they did, didn't they, at one point? Always ironic when they always say Manchester's a city you should go. I usually just give a tip and say, don't. Don't come here. <laughs> we can't get him that once. Nice, okay. Oh. Your driving might be a bit rusty. I do apologise. Very nice. Ooh. Yeah, so mo this, this mission's literally just follow the AI and pray that you get the good strikes. Also, it's probably worth mentioning that Driver 2 runs at a weird frame rate. Half the time it's stable, the other half it just goes weird. So, don't really expect anything. Yeah, like I said, uh, I don't know about UK. UK's city of culture. A lot of people say Manchester's the best city, but I don't think it is, and I live in it. So, not in the middle of the city, but, you know, I live in Manchester, so... But I, I don't class it as one of the greatest cities in the world, even though everyone calls it the best one. I'm like, mate, it really isn't great. Really. <laughs> it's not that fantastic after all. 
keeping mechanics in business. Aye. That's I am. Oh, that was a good close shave on that one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Please don't mess this up. I've not got to the hard bits yet. Like that, th this mission gets harder before it gets easier. Oh crap! Yeah. Whoa. Right. We're still all right. We've just got to get away from the police. He's taking me, Reg. Oh god. Oh dear. Right. Okay. We're good. We're good, we're good. We're gonna get another police car on it. There he is. There he is. Nice. Okay. We're gonna lose them in a minute anyway. Thankfully. Oh! Nice. We're there. We've done that one in one go. That was good. That was good. Nice. Okay. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. This bit's a bit difficult. It's not too hard, but a bit difficult. Yeah, everyone mentions about stuff like this. It's like, oh yeah, don't don't forget about this and that. I'm like, hey, I don't have a clue. Oop. Okay, the police aren't gonna follow us that far, are they? I'll be surprised if the police follow us this far. No, they're not gonna follow us, yeah. Sorry, police, but no. Not a chance. And another couple. Right, okay. This is where the run gets a bit tricky now, so bear with. I might end up going a bit quiet on this, but not too quiet, obviously. Oh, no, come on. Yeah, that's it, go that way. See you, copper. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Please keep going, keep going. Just go, 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 go. Please the Reg, please. Yeah, nice. Okay, we'll get another policeman in a second. Hopefully we can outrun him. Like I said, this is a very difficult mission. Like, very difficult. Ooh. God. No. Go, don't. Stop. Come on, go, 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 go. I need to stay in front of it. Like I said, it's very difficult. You can get the police to follow. The police will follow you all the way through these tunnel systems. Never be surprised. Always expect the unexpected. Nice. Nice. And then we just head for that corner. Easy enough. I love how they forgot the road number the further you get. Yeah, that's the thing. Also, we did that first try. If I'd failed that mission, then the run would have been about another six minutes longer. But thankfully, it isn't. So, we're good. We're all good. Nice. Red, white and blue. This mission's relatively straightforward as well. So with this one, you have to just line the cars up with the ramps on the, the coach. Sounds easy enough. If you've never played the game before, if you're, you know, if you're new to the game, then it's uh, quite difficult. And, I mean, for me, it was quite difficult, but now it's relatively easy. Although everything seems to have gone wrong on this run, like I didn't have a good police chase and all the rest of it. It's still all right. We're looking sub-110 anyway. Easy. Even with like a bad one of these and a bad home three, we should be able to get under one ten. Fingers crossed that we can get through these first try with barely any mistakes. Red, white, and blue. Here's red, white, and blue. Here we go. Nice. This is relative. Like I said, this is fairly straightforward. worst thing is you have to keep it at five seconds five seconds it's three seconds on the pc and it's five on this one ridiculous there's still spuds in scotland that's why i'm here on, 
Nice. Done. Alright. And last one. Come on. Give me the blue car. Come on, closing. Come on, nice and easy. Three, two, one, done. Right, that's that mission done. I told you it's proper easy. Also, invisible ramps for the win. Nice. There we go. And mission complete. Done. And we've got one more mission, which the one more mission is going to take a while. So time ends after the next mission. So at the end of Home 3, I'll just say time when it when it's ready, when I'm done. Also, we get to see it one more time, these bloody loading screens. So far, this time's looking okay. I mean, it's not looking world record pace because that was past like three minutes ago. It's not too bad. Also, keep streaming once you finish, just change the game. Yeah, I can do. Like I said, I am proper, proper nervous. I'll have to set driver two up as well when I get into it because I need to set up the game and everything. To do that real quick. Home free. There we go. Only five miles to the borderland. Put your foot down, idiot. So in this in the in the game it tops out 105. It shouldn't top out that fast. This uh this coach. But it does. Also if you hit this red car as well you, your truck goes even faster. For some weird reason, because weird collision detection and all that stuff. Yeah, physics. Physics for the win. Oh, this last mission's got it all. You name it, it's got the Mafia in it. It's got the uh, boulders, falling boulders. It's got the lot, this mission. Oh, come on, keep going, keep going. There we go. He doesn't top out this fast. No, usually it tops out at... I think it's 80. But on this mission, for some weird reason, they top it out at 105. Also, 10 out of 10 for crash physics. Like I said, this mission is relatively straightforward. For the most part, it's relatively easy. That easy. You also have to watch out for these rocks. They can easily damage your coach as well, you have to just be careful. One thing we do on this one is, if it'll let me, I'm gonna reverse for this, cause heck, I'm all right to do this. Like that. Ooh, that was close. Originally I was supposed to go around that corner and do that. This is going to be close. I don't know how long this is going to take now. But we're about less than a minute ahead. Uh, less than a minute ahead. We're less than a minute until we finish. There we go. And yeah, 45 seconds. Now, the thing is, this makes it a lot easier. You let that boulder pass. And what you do is you either climb... You can climb up there if you wish. You just climb up here. It's easier. Like that. And then we have... A few boulders appearing in front of us. Can easily dodge them, I say that. Oh boy. It's close. Nice. Okay, come on. Please don't. And time. That is time. I know 451. That is exactly what I got as well. Nice. 
Five minutes on the estimate. It's pretty good. I'll let the ending play real quick. I was five minutes on the estimate. I'm pleased with that. Balancing on the edge. Very slowly. That frame rate. Way. No worries, Shadow, I'll let you know. Over the edge. We'll have to get it back. I'll skip that. <laughs> 